Good morning, I think. Still, yeah. From Warsaw, Poland. Where I've uh, spent a lot of time out on the streets, going into tons of different stores, very promising stores I've never seen before, in search of chocolate milk I've never seen before. Of course, we were in Krakow before this and got about 10 different chocolate milks there. All this effort going around has only yielded what you see here. Three chocolate milks that uh, I've not yet had before. Might as well get started. We've got Hula Krizula. I guess they even like the rhyme. It's got a cow, and I suppose he's eating chocolate. He, she, <laughs> this isn't bull milk. She's eating chocolate, or at least has chocolate in her mouth. I don't know if that's good for cows. Uh, but I know if I had several stomachs, one of them would be full of chocolate uh, most of the time. Here goes. Mm. Oh, it feels a little dense. Um, a little denser than you expect. Of course, you're normally taking it through a straw. That's ah, decent though. I've been really impressed with the, there hasn't been a ton of it, but the caliber of Polish chocolate milk has been pretty good. I haven't had too many ones that are, that are that are nasty, and the ones in the boxes, it's pretty straightforward. It's probably less sweet and a little bit more creamy than usual, but it's very pleasant, I like it. Up next, we've got another Danon product. Dananiki cacao in a box. Now, I spent time, some time looking at this thing. It's a blue-haired, blue-eyed, green-skinned, freckled thing with a maybe a duck bill nostrils and maybe a frog mouth. That's the best I could come up with. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's super random and kind of gets me off on the wrong foot. And Dan obviously is a massive global, primarily dairy company, I suppose. I've seen bottled water, I guess, from them. But I've had it up until this point about 680 different chocolate milks in maybe 34, 35 countries. And this is the two in Poland are the first Danon products that I've seen anywhere for chocolate milk. So that uh, stands out to me, you know, why Poland and why not other places? It's very brown, but you can see some, uh, some particulates kind of being suspended in there. You wouldn't normally see it, you'd be drinking it out of the box. Oh, okay. This stuff is incredibly sweet. Incredible. Incredibly sweet, got a powdery, grainy feel to it, and it doesn't feel milky. It might if you're sucking it through a little straw. Ah, that's, it's way sweeter than anything else. Uh, it's not super chocolate or anything like that. I think kids might like this. Might fare well in a taste test if you're inclined to prefer the sweet things. Lastly, we've got the Twix Shake. Now, it seems like this whole candy bar line of the, with the uh, Mars and the M&Ms and Bounty and all that stuff. They've all got something like this. You see it a lot in the UK. These are all products of Germany. Uh, they even have a Skittles one. Yeah, that can't be too popular. You did see that in the store. The Twix is one of my favorite candy bars, and I think a drink is gonna have a hard time nailing what makes it so good for me. It, the, the juxtaposition between the, the caramel and the cookie, so the, the, the textures there um, work very well and the sweet, salty thing, maybe they could incorporate into a drink, but the best thing about a Twix is that after you eat one of them, there's another one. And they can't manifest that in a drink, so already it's kind of starting off as a little bit, uh, you know, maybe they shouldn't have tried a Twix one because they can't deliver on that. Mm -hmm. It's got a caramel flavor to it. Uh, again, the texture is, feels fairly fake, it's not milky, it's very uh, kind of syrupy. Very salty, caramelly, it tastes okay, but really it has a chocolate milk. Uh, I know there's obviously a chocolate component to Twix, but it's not present here aside from the color. It tastes okay, but the, yeah, the, the consistency, it doesn't disperse like uh, milk should just kind of fires down your hatch and you're left with an aftertaste of kind of caramel salt. 
Harris and see if we can get anything else new, and if so, we'll try to add those videos before the sun goes down. Okay.